What do you love about marketing a franchise business? I feel like this is going to sound probably conceited, but I feel like it's the most difficult test of a marketer to go, all right, your customer, not your consumer, the end consumer, they're great. You've got to deal with them as well. But your customer are these group of 100 people and they don't know anything about marketing and they think most of it's bullshit. So market to them every day and convince them to give you money to market to your joint consumers. And it's so tough. I taught marketing as a sessional lecturer at various universities for about six years, hmm. Macquarie, UTS, mainly at the University of Newcastle. And the students are reset. They're sponges. They want to learn. And our franchisees, not so much. You know? <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah. they will call you out on any bull dust. They will call you yeah. out on anything that's... So I've started to develop techniques. You know, I don't use the word brand. We don't use the word. The brand is almost like a poisonous word because they think it means something fluffy and expensive and useless. It's always about the organisation, the business, the company, the firm. It's a massive challenge, which I love. Sometimes it feels like you're banging your head against a brick wall and other times you get this feedback that I was referring to earlier where they say, look, we trust you guys at head office. You know what you're doing with the marketing. You've got my money. I'm in. Just go for it. And that's really rewarding. Yeah. It tests your customer centricity, doesn't it? Because you've got to have it on both fronts. Like You need to really deeply understand the franchisees and what they're interested in and the right way to communicate, negotiate and get them on board, but then make sure that what you're suggesting reaches the end goal of the consumer. So it's, it's almost two levels of customer centricity there. That is such a good point because if you let your external comms be comms that your franchisees like, you will fail instantly. Mm. Like if you creating messaging and comms for your franchisees, it just will end in tears. The customers yeah. will hate it because, yeah. and I have <laughs> this SpongeBob SquarePants meme where he's yeah. standing under the sea with a rainbow and it just says, nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. And I've been known yeah. to show it to franchisees going, mate, no one cares that you have a shop full of half moon bucks with paint and you have seven staff and you have a color wall and 17 brands of herbs. They, I couldn't care less about <laughs> yeah. that. So um, yeah. if I make the ad for you, they will hate it. So I'd rather make the ad for them and convince you not to hate it. And yeah, yeah, challenging. So then I guess that, that may be one of the challenges, but what else is uniquely challenging about it compared to a typical B2C or typical B2B role? Yeah, I just think you have to win hearts and minds, but you have to win the business side as well. And it's a mm. very... Um, operational, blokey, mm. hardware in the environment and a lot of the people have been in the game for a really long time. So mm. you have to prove things work. You can't mm. just do a good sparkly jazz hands sales job. Mm. Um, you can once. Yeah. Maybe twice, but not the yeah. third time. And after seven yeah. and a half years, <laughs> yeah. no, they don't want yeah. to, they can see through that. So you've got to prove that stuff works, which is hard because, as you know, in marketing and business, we want to fail fast and learn all the time. Mm. What worked one year won't work the next. And so it's really hard to promise that something's going to work mm. every time because it yeah. won't. Yeah. So, so it's getting that balance right. And I guess for us, where every marketer's budget's not big enough, right, I'm sure, even when we're in this environment going up against some of the hardware competitors that we have whose budgets are of a magnitude of, you know, 20 times more, than ours it just teaches you to obviously strategic but but just really narrow and laser sharp in, in your yeah. focus of where you're going to allocate resources and that's true of anyone not necessarily of a franchise but the mm -hmm. difference in a franchise is part of the money is their money yeah so you've you gotta, gotta gotta convince them every time right and our fees aren't huge so we have to go to them cap in hand on top of just their normal marketing fee which is super small compared to most mm. franchises to go can you throw in some more and here's why so we joke that we have to do this caravan of courage every year around the country begging for money, but it's not its not like that, is it? Because it's not about being a cost center, it's about being the growth um, yielder. And so and so we talk about it as what investment do we jointly want to make in the Adelaide market or in the Rockhampton market or in the Perth market? And we jointly make that investment, mm. which is good because we're not going to throw our money in unless we're happy with and have control over the, the strategy and the spend. But it's just so very much harder than just going, oh, here's my budget, execute. Yeah. Go. Here's my budget, sell, beg, crawl, demonstrate. <laughs> 
You've been listening to Lean Mean Marketing Teams with Ty Hayes. If you love the show, please remember to hit subscribe so that you can discover more tips and strategies to build a high-performance marketing team. And if you're feeling generous, please tell someone about the show who you think would benefit. We're on a mission to help CMOs build their dream team and enable marketers to do their best work. And we appreciate your help in spreading the word.